one out. Oh, boy. Well, two years ago, when we came back, I've got everybody on the team bought new cleats. Don't look at the camera, man. Anyway, $10, no. $20. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Here we are in Phoenix. Day two, and it's been a long day. Can't really see it. Show me tomorrow. I'm normally a happy guy, you know. And tonight I'm just, I feel worn out, you know. Um, I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety the last couple of days, and uh, I just want to want to get the ball rolling with the with the games, you know, Let's get this thing started. We just finished a team meeting, and we went over some things with the guys, and a couple of the guys, well, one in particular, didn't uh, really agree with what was going on, and so he stormed off, and and. Uh, you know, I felt that I, I was the sort of contributed to the problem. You know, I think I aggravated him. And, but you know, you, you can't have everybody talking at once. You know, you got to have one guy, and that's the thing with with being a coach. You know, you got to stroke your guys and, and keep them happy, but at the same time, they have to know that they don't have to think. They just got to play hard. You know, we'll do the thinking for them. Of course, I wasn't listening. He said, no, that's not the way I do it. This is, I'm here because this is the way I do it. My point was, is if you can't teach me something I don't already know, then just keep your mouth shut. Get off my back if you're not going to tell me something I don't already know. I like Peter so much now after seeing him this week and seeing how hard he plays and how into it he can get and how good he really is. And I see him... Um, I don't know how to say it without getting him mad at me, but he, he might not show up for a game because nobody called him and, and that kind of stuff. He, he's kind of hard. He lives his own life and plays his own tune. Um, and I was a little worried about that, honestly, when we're down there, but he just picked it up and he went with it. And I was, I was so proud of him. I mean, I just love him. I just hugged him and I thanked him for his hard work. and. He just thought he was playing baseball, but to me, he's helping fulfill a dream, so I don't know if he knows that, but. Oh, to be young again. I'm, uh, I'm a little concerned about some of the extracurricular activities with the boys. But boys will be boys, you know, and um, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, right? Or in this case, you can't stop him from drinking. <laughs> but, uh, Load her up. What can I say? Tomorrow, um, I believe we play a team from from the local area. First game, nine 9.15 a.m. Um, Randy Enns, our uh, manager organizer, and one of our top pitchers is, uh, he's ready to go. He's in good shape and he's going to be pitching. And uh, we got a good solid lineup. Um, everybody's going to get a chance to get in. And uh, I think we're just going to shift gears a little bit. You know, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air when the sun comes up. You know, we'll just be happy and have a good time and be jovial and just, you know, appreciate that we're out there playing in the sun and getting a chance to do it. I mean, this is a great vacation as well as, uh, you know, like a, a ball playing holiday. So uh, we're pretty fortunate. <laughs>